G'day guys, Science Steve coming to you live from Street Science Headquarters down under in Australia. For those of you tuning in this morning across the world, over there in Europe, a very good morning to you because we are kicking off the Global Science Show. All right, because it's late in the day, it's just after 7 o'clock here. It's one of my favourite times of the day because it's just about time to crack a coldie. So, while I'm having a beer, let's talk a little bit of science. All right. While I was packing my esky earlier on, I was thinking to myself, the ice has gone in, the beer's gone in, how can I use my knowledge of science to make sure that those beers are frosty cold to get me through the night? And I got thinking. Last year when I was over in the UK, when it was snowing, it was cold, and the roads were starting to freeze over. It got me thinking about when the trucks came through and they dropped the salt and how that lowered the freezing point of the ice so that we didn't get black ice on the roads. So I thought I might try to dive a little bit deeper into what happens to water when we heat it up and what happens to water when we cool it down. Let's throw a little bit of salt in there and see what happens when it gets in the way. First of all, I've got my kettle. I've loaded it up with a bit of liquid water. I've boiled it. I've pumped energy through it. And those little water particles, they've gotten so excited, they've started to move around faster and faster as they absorb that heat energy. And you can see some steam starting to come off the top. It's the same substance, H2O, but it's in a different state. It's in its gaseous state. And we call it steam. H2O, dihydrogen monoxide, when it's in its liquid form, we call it water. And when it gets really cold and it drops below zero degrees Celsius, it changes state again as we suck heat energy out of it. And those particles, they slow down so much that they turn into a solid and we call that stuff ice. Now, I've been told many times by my mates, Steve, if you're going fishing, if you're going out on the weekend and you want your beers and your lemonades to be nice and cold, drop a bit of salt in the esky because that'll help the ice to melt. That'll then allow the water to be really, really cold, which will provide greater surface area around your frosties and it'll keep them nice and cold. Let's explore the science behind that and see if it actually works. I've got some water here in some beakers. Come on down and have a look. Here we go. Beaker one, a bit of tap water. Beaker two, a little bit of tap water as well. They're currently sitting at 24.8 degrees and 24.7. Pretty close to each other. If I go and drop some ice into these containers, all of a sudden the temperature, I'd imagine, would start to fall. But... If I go and add some salt to one of these, what we find is we can get the water to drop even further in temperature. The reason for that, we don't just have water in that container. Let me test it. I've ground up a little bit of salt. Let me throw it in this one. There we go. So I now have water and ice over here, and I have water, ice, and salt. What we're going to find is all of a sudden when we have salty water, it's freezing point changes. So the salt is starting to melt the ice for me. Great. I've got salt water as that salt dissolves into my water. And the freezing point of that salty water is much lower than normal water, which I've got over here. So all of a sudden we've got a liquid that can be sitting at a lower temperature with less heat in there, and it doesn't turn into a solid. So my liquid, all of a sudden, can be colder. When I'm packing my esky and putting some coldies in there, I don't just want ice, I want some water in there as well, because that increases the surface area, and it gets all around my drinks. So, adding a little bit of salt, as long as that ice stays in there, it's a good quality esky, can allow the water to stay really, really cold, and make your drinks icy cold for a nice hot day. Let me have a look at these temperatures. I'm down to 11 degrees on this one, 
and I'm down to 8.2 degrees over here. So the temperature's dropping much quicker. If I let it go, I imagine it's going to reach a point where the temperature's not dropping anymore. It's going to be low, probably not down below zero though, because I'm not going to leave it long enough. But as I continue to watch those, I'm now down to 10.5 over here and down to 7.9 over this side. So the water, which is sitting down the bottom, getting much colder when I've got my salt mixed in. I'm out of here, guys. I'm going to throw it over to Adam. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the Global Science Show. I'm Science Steve coming at you from Australia. Until next time, see you later.